This is kind of a game, kind of more of just a puzzle challenge. This is called renaming tiles, <clears throat> sometimes called mystery tiles, things like that. So you're supposed to start off with a, oh, I have the wrong set of tiles, just a minute. Now you may think, what, did, what was wrong? Um, in this set of renaming tiles and all the sets we're going to be using, the numbers have to be 0 to 9, so you can't include a 10 tile. So um, I'm actually going to have you guys be in charge of sorting these uh, bags of tiles to make sure that you um, have the right tiles in each bag. So you want to make sure that you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So now in order to play renaming tiles, all uh, 10 of these tiles from zero to nine have a spot on here that makes these equations true. So let's see if we can figure it out. So this one seems pretty obvious. We know eight plus four makes 12. So we know that the two will need to be here, right? And we know there will need to be a one carried here, but the rest of this is pretty up in the air still. We know that we're gonna add a one here, so it's gonna be greater than four. We know this answer is gonna be greater than four, but right now it could be anything, so let's move on. One minus something equals two. Well, one minus nothing would equal two, so that must mean we're gonna borrow. So this must be 11 minus something equals two. Well, I know that 11 minus nine equals two. And then something minus five equals one, and we know we borrowed from them. So it must be bigger than six, so it must be seven. The reason why I know that is I borrowed one from here, made that 11, 11 minus nine is two, so this is six minus five is one. And the reason why I said six is because remember we borrowed. So now we know we have all of these correct. And then three minus seven is something, well we can't do that, so we need to borrow. So 13 minus seven is six, and that was five minus two is three. And then we know that four plus three is seven, but we don't have a seven here, so we know that has to be eight because we must be carrying over here. Um, so now we're down to kind of the final numbers. We know that three plus one is gonna equal four plus something so either this is zero, but I don't think there's usually zeros here, or this is gonna be something pretty small because we only have four and five left. So that might be two up in the air. We're not completely sure about that one. Then 46 plus something equals eight. So we know this is gonna equal something larger than 10, uh, or larger than nine because we carried. Right, because four plus three makes seven, but we didn't have a seven left over because we already used it up there. So we know that this is eight, so we know that this must equal a teen number. Well, six plus six would equal 12, but we don't have 12 here. Um, let's try six plus five, that would equal 11. Ooh, that would work. We could also do six plus four equals 10 and that would carry a one. So either way, we could do four and zero or we could do five and one here. Let's jump over here and try it out. So if we did, we know we had that one carried. So one plus one plus three is five. And then we could go four and zero right here. Aha, we have solved all four problems with the tiles that we had. Could that have been reversed? Let's try it a different way. Let's see if we could have done that. So zero plus one, that equals four. And this could have been six plus five equals 11. But this is kind of a weird place. So this technically could also be true, but we generally don't put a zero in front of an eight when we're adding like that. So I think, although that could technically be true, I think this is actually the correct answer right there. Okay, so that's how renaming tiles with the addition subtraction set works.